So when you pick up a recent Masterpiece product today of the Transformers Masterpiece line from Takara Tomy, you see a little logo in the bottom right that has a G mark and it says Long Life Design. Now a lot of people have either ignored it or questioned what is that? What is that little logo there? Well, in Japan, it is known as the infamous G mark, which when products have the G mark logo on it, it means that it is the utmost of quality of product made in Japan. And the Transformer Masterpiece line has been a recipient of the G mark for many years, specifically under the life law of the long life design category from Good Design Japan. Now, why are we talking about this? Why are we bringing this up? Well, as of this recording today, Takara Tomy and the Transformers Masterpiece line are celebrating their fifth year of winning the Good Design Award, the G Mark Award for the Long Life Design category for the Transformers Masterpiece brand. This happened all the way back in 2016 where this award was given to them when they put out MP32 Optimus Primal, AKA Beast Convoy. Now the long life design category, how it works is, it has to be a brand that has been coming out in Japan, that is Japanese made, that has been around for more than 10 years, a very specific brand. And the Masterpiece line, which debuted in late 2003, actually December of 2003 to be specific, with MP01 Convoy, and then a couple months later in 2004 with the 20th anniversary Optimus Prime, that was a Kobayashi Sun and Aaron Archer creation. That kind of started the masterpiece line that has been going forward, and crazy as it is, in a couple years it's going to be celebrating its own 20th anniversary. Isn't that nuts? It's been around for a long time. But in 2016, uh, the G mark was rewarded to uh, the Transformers Masterpiece line for its consistent high quality product and recommendation from many consumers and manufacturers by different people. And again, it started in 2016, specifically with that Optimus Primal, but it was really celebrating the entire line and that consistency that has been going on up to that point. Now, Obviously, Takara didn't have the time to right away slap that logo on the Optimus Primal. So with MP36, the Megatron 2.0 G1 version, which came out in April of 2017, you would see that long life design logo in the bottom right, and it's been there ever since. Now, this is a big deal for Japan because the G Mark is on everything of high quality that is the best of the best of its specific thing if you go to the g mark website they'll show you what's the best pencil you could own in japan the best ceiling fan the best car the best video game system the best this of every single year like it just it lets you know you want to know the most utmost of quality here's where you go and transformers well it ended up on there and that's some pretty awesome stuff and again you know, it's 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 very cool that, you know, it really started uh, with Optimus Primal because that's a Yuki Ashima design um, from, you know, Mr. Kiss Play himself. He did all the, the Beast Wars ones. And so that's pretty cool for for his to kind of really be the one that kickstarted all of that in a lot of ways for everything. But that's pretty awesome. And again, it's just to celebrate, you know, as of this recording, because in 2021, in November, just in two days from now. From the, uh, as of this recording, we're going to be having Masterpiece Skids and Reboost coming out, uh, Generation 1. And those ones are the ones from Honda, that the collaboration that's going on with Honda, is the new ones that are being recognized as the G-Mark of highest quality. So that's exciting because that Skids looks pretty cool and has a very Alternators kind of you know flavor and approach this time around, along with Reboost. So anyone who's getting that should be very excited because it's going to have the G mark yet again for the highest quality that Japan has put out. And just to kind of look, you know, quickly into the future of some of the other masterpieces we will be getting after that of skids and reboost, and they will have the G mark because of it. Uh, MP52 SW, the sky warp of the new Starscream mold repaint. Uh, that'll be December of 2021, so just before the year is over. Then next year, in February, we're going to be getting MP55 Nightbird Shadow. That's the RC repaint retool into Nightbird. 
Then we're going to get MP53+, plus. that's Senator Crosscut. Again, a retool, repaint of that great skids and reboost mold that we're going to be getting in our hands in just a couple of days. That's going to be March of 2022. Then we have MPG01, the great giant Gatai of uh, Trainbot Shuki, the first member of the Trainbot Raiden, is going to be June, this, uh, June of 2022. And then we have no word yet on the official announcement or even the acknowledgement of the MP Cliff, aka Masterpiece Cliff Jumper. And uh, we know a lot about that figure. We've seen prototypes, we've seen test shots, we've seen, you know, all the accessories, we've seen full color, you know, kind of final versions, we've seen now good transformation photos, but we haven't seen any acknowledgement from Takara about it. So uh, hopefully we'll get more information on that. But uh, this is just exciting news, again, just to celebrate the fifth anniversary of that for the Masterpiece brand. Again, the pinnacle of Transformer collecting, in my opinion, the best of the best of Transformers. And uh, it's just cool to see it being celebrated yet again all those years later. And uh, I guess we'll just ask this question. What is your favorite Masterpiece Transformer? Mine, again, it's it kind of falls on that Shogo Hasui year, MP10 convoy moving forward with MP Lambor and, and all the Lamborghini guys and the Countaches and then the MP Datsuns and then the MP uh, Lancias, so like the Wheeljack and the Exhaust. Those are all fantastic figures. And then, of course, you know, the MP Shockwave is fantastic. The MP Soundwave is fantastic. And all the Beast Wars ones by Yuki Ashima are all fantastic. If I had to pick one out of everything... I lean a little bit on maybe that Cheetor. That Cheetor is, it's it's the animation model come to life. All of them are really, in a lot of ways, those Beast Wars ones. But that Cheetor one, it made me buy two of them because I couldn't decide which mode I want to have it displayed in because it was so organic and alive and I loved it. And I kind of want to get doubles of all the Masterpiece Beast Wars if I can affordably. I mean, but either way, this is great news. Just happy to hear that once again, Masterpiece has the G mark and uh, it's a fantastic line. Obviously, there's, you know, some detractors that'll be like, well, you know, MP47 Hound, you know, it had its issues. And I, I agree. You know, I guess the wrong twist and turn and that thing could break. But I think that overall, you know, there's easily 100 plus masterpieces now that are out uh, counting just the mainline ones, the movie ones, the special edition series ones, the American releases and variants. Uh, you know, there's going to be one that's going to be kind of messy, but otherwise I think they're fantastic. I love them and I hope to see more in the future. And, uh, again, let me know who you think is the best masterpiece of all time that really deserves the G mark.